Good afternoon, YouTube, and thank you very much for watching Page of Styles. For all my returning reviewers, thank you very much for your continued support. And for the newcomers, if you find the content to be informative and entertaining, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Before I start the video, I want to shout out Mr. George Zaharoff for the grooming oil, Zaharoff Signature Grooming Oil. Anyone who has a beard such as myself and you want to keep it maintained and smelling nice, go copy a bottle. I think it's like $25. So, um, to me, it's pretty much worth it. Definitely worth it in mine because my joint usually get raggedy. So just to keep it tamed, laying down, it's smelling nice. Zaharoff Signature Grooming Oil. So now, to the meat and potatoes. So this video will be 12 designer fragrances if I had to wear them once a month. According to my environment, I'm here in Buffalo, New York, so in the winter it's really cold. In the summer it can get really, really hot and anywhere in between. It can be May and snow. It can be January and hit 60, so you just never know. So for the month of January, generally that is very, very cold here, and it's going to usually be tons of snow. I chose for January, which I wore a lot this January, from Yves Saint Laurent, M7. Beautiful, beautiful oud fragrance. The oud is not stanky nor medicinal. It's just right. It's definitely going to cut through that cold air. You're going to get a, you know, a great projection for like an hour, hour and a half. The second and third hour, because it still projects past two hours, it's going to be elbows length. People are still going to smell you. You're going to smell professional and like you're not trying too hard. So once again, for January, Yves Saint Laurent. M7. Ooh, that's absolute. Forgot. So for February, you know, the month of lovers, Valentine's Day here in Buffalo is still pretty much cold and snowy. Decided I wanted to go with something heavy enough to cut through the cold air, but delectable enough to be attractive to my woman, Valentine's Day, date, things of that nature. And in February, I always think chocolate. So I went with the infamous Dior Own Intense. To me, beautiful Val uh, February, Valentine's Day, day month. Once again, you get the iris, the cacao note. It's just, this, if I don't have any 10 out of 10 fragrances, but this one definitely here is a nine, nine and a half to me. I mean, I might be picky like that. I have never found a 10 out of 10, but this is definitely a nine. Nine and a half out of ten for me. And once again for February, your own intense. So for the month of March, March can be either cold and snowy or warm up a little bit. You're going to get more 30s, 40s, the occasional 50. But most of the time, anywhere between 20, actually, 30, 40, and maybe 50. And for that, I went with what I wore this year as a, a new release. Pasha de Cartier Parfum. When I say this is almost beast mode, so control your sprays, especially if you're going to be indoors or in cubicles like how my job is. You're definitely going to want to control your sprays, but this is a beautiful, almost fougere like scent. You may get compliments. You may not. Once again, it depends on your demeanor, how you look, how you dress. I wouldn't say anybody under 25 is going to really gravitate towards this, but if you're over 25 or if you happen to wear suits or shirts and ties, blazers to work, this pretty much could be a signature scent for you as long as it's not too hot outside. So once again, for the month of March, I'm going with Cartier's Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Now for April. April is a tricky month for the fact sometimes it's cold, starting to get warm, but not really warm, but warm for Buffalo weather. Hold on. Oh, we is hot. So, so warm for Buffalo's weather. Uh, so for April, I decided to go with something a little bit different than my January, February, March selections. And another one, one of my favorite houses from Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lone. Oh, electric. So with this one, 
it's not as heavy as say like everybody said reminds them of versace eros yeah. it really doesn't remind me of versace eros but i understand why people think that way this one is sweet enough to cut through the cold air but yet it remains fresh enough to where i can wear it during the day to work or especially at night if i'm going out you know getting the ice cream anything of that nature just a quick runs or errands walmart 7-eleven this is perfect especially for the month of april here in buffalo new york where once again it could be either cold cold or a little warm in april it's never going to be hot in april but a little warm 50 sometimes might hit 60 but most of the time now we're in the 40s and 50s so for the month of april Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lom, O Electric. For the month of May, I had a runner up. I didn't want to fully leave it out. Um, this one was pretty hard for me for the fact, especially with during COVID time, I was testing a lot of a lot of different fragrances. So I wanted to go with my runner up for May, Tom Ford, Beau de Jour. But it's something about the actual selection for me that just edged out the Tom Ford. And I love Tom Ford to me. Once again, another nine, nine and a half fragrance to me. But my first love that I had a lot longer than the Tom Ford and another nine, nine and a half, nine point five fragrance to me. Dior O Sauvage EDT. Now you may can do the Parfum one as well. But this one is getting warm. I'd rather go with the EDT. The citrus notes, that barbershop fougere feeling, get a fresh haircut, it's warm outside finally. It's bright, it's getting bright again at seven o'clock instead of nine in the morning. This to me, this was just the perfect, the perfect yeah. fragrance for me in the month of May. So once again, for May, Christian Dior. Oh, Sauvage. For the month of June, now it's pretty much getting definitely hot. It's going to be between 65, 70, maybe 80s. 90 might peak out sometime, but most of the time, you can definitely bet your bottom dollar is going to be between 60, 65, and 80, 85. And for that, I wanted something that was going to make me feel really, really fresh, invigorated, a little green but ready to start my day, especially if you got children in school, school time about to end or it does end during a month. You may have graduations, you have your summertime running. And with that, I chose another Yves Saint Laurent. And this is Lone Libre. It's something about the green. I believe it has ginger in it. It just, when I spray it in the morning, it just pops off off my skin. It gets me ready to start my day. And it's gonna last at least, if I'm waking, getting up and getting ready at nine o'clock i'm at least getting until three o'clock before i have to reapply re-up whatever you want to call it so for the month of june my go-to is Lone libre by eve saint laurent for july i had another runner-up and this was actually the one i was going to choose at first and so i really actually started this video and i'm like you know what I wore this a lot last month in June, but I already have my June one. So for the month of July, I wanted to go with Dior Higher Energy because of the pear note and the freshness. But I did a lot of fruits from April, some in you know, June, especially May. So I, I wanted to go with a little bit something different because now in July, it's hot. You might want to dress nice. You've got things to do, places to go, people to see. So for July, I chose to go the soapy route, and that is Am um, Prada Amber Pour On. Once again, this is my second favorite soapy fragrance after Chanel Platinum Mega East, but this one lasts a lot longer. So I know if I spray, I'm getting seven and a half, eight, maybe eight and a half hours. If it's really, really hot and it's projecting off your skin like crazy still getting seven so if you gotta need a one and done in the month of july go with prada amber pour on for the month of august 
I've decided to choose two of the same line, one for the um, day and one for the night. It's my video, I'll make the rules. So I know I said one per month, 12 designer fragrances, I failed. So for the day in August, we're gonna go with Chanel, Paris Deauville, awesome, very realistic citrus notes at the beginning, creamy dry down, don't have too much of the famous Chanel aldehydes, but it's gonna do for the beginning days in August for me. And then at night, Paris Venice also, or Venice, also from Chanel. This is a little bit more silkier. It lasts a tad bit longer than Deauville. If I get four and a, or four and a half, five hours out of Deauville, I'm, I'm happy. This is gonna give me six, six and a half. And I can wear it during the day if I want to, but I feel better at night if I'm dressed up, got a polo on. A button down, a seersucker outfit or linen on my fly smooth stuff. I'm definitely going with this. So, once again, for the month of August, it's a Chanel month, Paris Deauville, and Paris Ven on Venice. Now, in September, here where I'm from, that's where your fall is going to begin. You still might get some 70 degree days. 80s is pretty much gone. You might, but it's going to be 70, 60, maybe even 50 when you get near the end of September. Plus, it's my birthday month, and I want I always go with something that makes me feel very, very good. And for September, going with the House of Versace. People usually sleep on this one. I get an okay performance and projection from it, and that is Versace Oud Noir. I love my ouds, especially if they're a little sweet, dry, not funky or fecal like, not medicinal, but just dry, tad bit of sweet. I get like a little leather or tobacco note with this. And then in the fall, the dry down when it's not too hot, not too cool, it's almost perfect. This here is when I feel like I'm on my on top of my game, and it's my birthday month, so I'm usually planning, trying to plan something epic. For the month of September, we're going with Versace Oud Noir. For the month of October, this has been a, a fall and winter daily driver of mine. Now it's going to be going on three years. So a little right before a little bit of the hype of this. I have happened to catch this while it was still $22 before all the reviews drove it up to $28, $29, and some $30. And it's from the house of Bentley. And that is Bentley for men and tents. So with this one, you're going to get a little boozy rum note, cognac note, your, your tobacco. like you. It's kind of like what it stands for. You in a, you're chilling in a Bentley. You got your soft, supple, new leather seats, smoking a cigar with a cup of iced cognac or rum in it. Perfect for the fall to me as the leaves is falling off the trees and the change in the weather is changing. This is like a great transition. I mean, you're going to get very, very good performance off of this. Projection is a monster for that first two, two and a half. Maybe three hours, depending on your sprays. Man. Hold on. If it wasn't so thick, I would wear it in the summertime. But So for the month of October, Bentley for men, intense. So for the month of November, November holidays, Thanksgiving, got apple pie, sweet potatoes where I'm from, you know, just leading into the Christmas season. It's cold here. <laughs> if it's not cold, cold, it's getting cold. Might even ha already have a foot of snow by the time the middle of November come. Two feet of snow, three feet of snow. I mean, just never know how Buffalo weather you're going to go. But nonetheless, for the month of November, this has been a staple of mine for almost five years. Armani Cold Profumo. 
slightly gourmandish, reminds me of a Thanksgiving Day dessert. I forgot which one, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, but you're going to get great performance out of this. It's going to cut through the cold air. It's not going to, if you spray too much, it could be cloying. If you're in an air conditioned place, such as your job, or say like, I wouldn't wear this coming from the gym, but you can, from being suited and booted into just having a button down or a polo or even a cardigan. Those are my favorite during the winter. I, I, I have to recommend this. And I'm, I'm not a reviewer. I'm just a fragrance enthusiast who likes to put my opinions on YouTube. So for the month of November, from the house of Armani, Armani Code Profumo. And to end the year off, it's December, it's Christmas time. It's pretty much usually cold, very like cold, cold. When I say cold, cold, it, it can be anywhere from 20 degrees to negative 10 with the wind chill. It can be anywhere from six inches of snow to seven feet of snow. You just never know how this weather in Buffalo is going to act. But nonetheless, something that's going to cut through the cold, I mean, really cut through the cold air, still make you feel debonair smell attractive smell good you're gonna feel good yourself and that's from the house of christian dior and that is dior on parfum iris little cacao heavy leather note i mean heavy heavy leather note like you're wearing the best black leather jacket of all time you know you ain't riding a motorcycle in three feet of snow but you can always feel cool like the Fonz, pop your collar like the Fonz when you're rocking this. Glad it's summertime, but when the fall comes, especially December, Christian Dior, Dior on Parfum is the way to go. So, hope um, them 12 or 13 Fragrances, some is new to you, some ain't really been hyped or talked about. Hope this was informative and entertaining to you. And if it was, please like, comment, subscribe, drop a holler. And once again, if you have a beer, I recommend, highly recommend, that you grab yourself a bottle of Zaharoff Signature Grooming Oil. It's well worth it in the end. Thank you very much for watching the Page of Styles. In his book of life, please turn to the page of styles. Let's grow and evolve together. Salute.